Yeah, you already know it's the adventurous guy back with another banger. Right here, we're about uh, 800 hemp disconnect for a chiller that we're about to put on top. And as you see how big it is, we need manpower. So we have a lot of guys here today and we're figuring out how we're gonna mount it, what we're gonna use. We'll probably use some Unistrut, some toggle bolt. And once we get our measurements all in line, get it all fit up inside, we're gonna lift it and put it on the wall, on the stock of wall. So we're gonna bore through, set the unit strut and so forth. And yeah, we get it up and now we're trying to make it level. But you know, if it's not level, we don't like it, yeah? So we get it level, now we're measuring. We're gonna, the service is coming from the city. So we gotta set it to cut a pipe over here that is gonna, tap into the tap can and go to the uh this kind of here and then up to the chiller keep in mind we're gonna bend some four inch pipe it's a lot of work people we're gonna pull wire and so forth so just stay with us as we get it all prepared to run the pipe pull the wire and terminate on top yeah how look from out here <laughs> my boy light the camera <laughs> don't worry about it but that's how we work, but we get it done, yeah? Yeah, we're still measuring. And today's the day, we're gonna take measurement to bend some pipe to get down in the disconnect. So I'm, I don't need too much bend, maybe a few 90s, so we're gonna cut some units for it. Just to you know, have it strapped on the wall because we have to have all our pipes strapped. So yeah, I'm here cutting some units. Not me, but my boy cutting it. We take some measurement for the pipe as well because we gotta go inside to the table bend. Oh, and one thing I forgot, I forgot to mention that the pipe is coming from inside already. If you look right behind me here, yeah, you see the pipes, they're already outside. So I just need to bend my pipe up there, get my LB set so they can come outside to meet the pipe. Got my connectors in the disconnect. So yeah, I just gotta get up there and take good measurements, set my... So yeah, the time has arrived to bend some pipe and here we go. It was a little challenge to set this bad boy up, but we got it. Table bender, baby, four, inch, four inches pipe. We're making some 90 degree bend to take outside and drop in this connect and put on some LB and connect them inside on the pipes that come in from the inside to the outside down. Yeah, here we go, we got it pat, pat now, look. Mm, it's all about that level. Yeah. Mm. Mm. If you wanna learn how to mm. use this, I mean, you guys could shoot me a message or something, but me and my boy got it figured out. We got it pat now. We didn't have to cut anything or do anything special. We got it right where we needed it. And if you want, he's just, uh, he's pushing that remote in there. He likes to operate it, so I just I let him, you know? But it's fun, man, when you figure out how to do it. And I'm gonna show you guys a picture of when we put it up, how pretty it looks, you know? Yeah. But I think yeah. we're gonna cut that pipe first to put the tap can. Yeah. Let's do that. And then after we cut the pipe that's coming from the supply side, I'm gonna go up on the ladder, cut some units to it, then add the pipe. There's the pipes. Pretty, right? Just wait till you see the LBs on it. And here you go. Here you go. Pretty straight pipe. 800, 800 amp service, parallel feed. So pretty. Don't complain. Don't complain. We're still yeah. in the process. Take a break, boy. As we would say right on. Oh man, I forget to mention. It's cold out here. When I say cold, it's cold. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Look, I got one, two, three, and 
I got four shirts on, man. And I got long johns on and all of that, but we out here for a reason, right? And this is the reason why we're out here. Already. Just, just to do a good job and get it done. There's a service already. We're just waiting to pull. So while we wait to pull the wire, we're gonna pull in some string. We call that a rat. We push push it from the next end with the vacuum. We go pull a string in all three of these. Just so when the rope come, we can just pull it in, then make our nice head on the wire and put a rope on it. But we have to use a string to pull it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we just can't stop showing this thing, man. It's one of a kind, you know? Everybody past, they love it. But so today is the big day because the wire, the rope, and the tugger is here. So let's get ready to rumble. We're going to pull out those wires. They're 500 KC units. And we're going to set the tugger up, the rope, everything. You already know the tugger makes it take less person to pull. So we're just setting it up. We did get all three pulls in, so we're good. It's time to terminate. And right here, we're doing what we do best, man. We're just terminating and getting it right. And then, after we terminate it, guess what? I'm going to go back and torque it. So I'm about to torque it right now. But it, uh, it's foot pound on the torque, so it says 110 divided by 12. You know that, how much pound that gives to you. It's 250 divided by 12, give you foot pounds. Always divide by 12. That way, when you tight, you don't over tighten, worry about or break off your load. Yeah. This is the end of the job. We just gotta wait for the city after I finish torque to turn it up to power up the disconnect so that the chiller on top can have power. If you like this video and would like to see more video like this, just please leave us a comment, like, share, comment, and subscribe. As you already know. We be doing a lot of stuff like this, and I'd like to share them with you. So just show me some love. I keep this video coming every day. Not every day, but you know we're adventurous, so whatever is clever. Yeah. But in the meantime, let me just keep torquing this and make sure it's right, and then put the torque seal. If you know what torque seal is, uh, I don't have it here with me, but I'll show you the next time. But here you go. Oh, I forgot. I got the ground to land, but I don't have the ground lug yet, so I'll land that in a few from now. I'm not going to show this on the video, but for now, hope you enjoy this video. Click like. I'm feeling high.